Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me for a brand new series, which I think I'm going to call Solar Civilization. The series in which I use career mode in KSP to build a solar civilization, where there is various civilization things all over the solar system. I will be using various mods, um, such as Tech Life Support, Deadly Reentry, Far, KW Rocketry, um, just tons of things that'll make it easier and better. Not easier, actually, no, just better. Um, tack and deadly reentry and fire won't make it easier. But anyway, what I'm doing right now is just grabbing a pod to gain my first little bit of science, because I will need some parts for this. Um, I'm incredibly excited about this series. It will be incorporating a lot of things. Um, part of, I, I think maybe even some military things, just because that's a bit of fun. Like some uh, Operation Black Hawk things, just a few battley things. It'll be awesome. I'll see how it unfolds. Anyway, I'm just going to grab an EVA report and... Uh, a crew report, and then I'm gonna fall over and screw everything up. Um, I just gotta do a thing, <laughs> not tell people to go away. Anyway, um, put that back in the pod because I can't take two EVA reports at one time, but I can store them all in little bits of paper inside the pod. Uh, yeah, so now I'll just grab a EVA report on the launch pad, not flying over it, and I'll take a surface sample, just pull up a bit of that metal because who needs it? Um, should probably do that after firing the engine so I could study the engine residue or something. Or I could, you know, like... Oh, no! Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, my speakers are about to go crazy. Um, anyway, that was 18.5 science, which is, like, quite a lot, considering. So, I will take the hard choice of that one. Um, and that leaves me with two short of being able to get that. Anyway, so we'll skip ahead, put a quick little uh, engine on there. Um, swap the parachute around so they don't fire at the same time. I will then go further than any Kerbal has ever been before, slightly to the north, just by the flag. They're, the scientists were like, we need science from by the flag. I've just picked that hexagon flag because I really like it, and I didn't feel like using the NASA one, although that's my favorite flag. Who needs that engine? It's only worth loads of money. But this is the start of the space agency because, um, and then we have loads of money, because like at the start of Apollo, they had loads of money. Anyway, I didn't feel like using the NASA one because I'm doing my own civilization. Screw Earth and stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's take some of this gravel. They're probably going to get quite annoyed that I keep just digging up random bits of the space center. They're like, guy, we, you're supposed to go to space. You're just, you're just digging up floor. Can you just go to space? I mean, seriously. Man. Anyway, now we must do a big crazy jump to get back in the pod. Fail. Perfect. Good. Closer to space than we've ever been. Now I'll recover that, and I will take the science, and I will gain a bunch more other things. Because, okay, this first episode is a little science spammy, because every you've probably seen all this stuff before, you've probably even done it. I've done it a lot of times, so I want to get this quickly out of the way, and then get into fun stuff soon. And I won't be spamming science all the time, but I will be getting science. Anyway, you can see there's various fairings and things. I've basically just used my personal... KSP thing with all the mods I like using because I just want to do what I like. But anyway, now we will go to space rather than digging up bits of gravel. Uh, so yeah, I'll speed up this bit of the launch because it's just a launch. And I cram quite a lot into this episode so that there's not two episodes of boring stuff because I do want to kind of keep it fast moving, not like boring and spam this science, spam that science. I want to do it as just as interesting as possible. Um, yeah, just make it as interesting as possible and as fun for me as possible because that is quite a big part of it. Anyway, at four times time accelerate, this goes up pretty fast. Just a fairly standard launch vehicle, you know, the one you'd probably make anyway. But now, something weird happens with FAR, and because I have no reaction wheels or gimbal, pretty much no control, this flips out. And it's back into one times time accelerate. I was thinking, hmm, could get high atmo science, or I could just go to space, because I'm not lame. I'm gonna go to space. I don't want to dig up more bits of floor. And we must beat the crush, cur rush, Kerbal Russians to space. Although, the Russians kind of got to space first-ish. No, they did. Anyway, um, yeah, or maybe beat the uh, Imperials to space. No, that won't actually, there won't be overlap of Operation Black Hawk in this series. If you don't know what that is, and you're like, what is, what are you talking, what is Operation Black Hawk, guy? What are you talking about? Cinematic battle series I do, it's awesome. But because I was thinking about this series and thinking I could do so many things, probably won't because everyone starts off going, um, oh, I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this and then they don't. But um, yeah, but I want to uh, do as many things as possible and there may be some battle things. There'll be a bit of storytelling. There'll be a 
you know, it'll it'll be little little fun for everyone. Anyway, we're back into four times time accelerate. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm 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 doing weird stuff right now. Voices, not like doing like like acid. Although that would explain all the voices. My voices, not the voices in my head. They're always there. <laughs> anyway, let's grab some um, reports and you know stuff. So that's from above the water, from the, above the grassland. You probably didn't see that because uh, well, because it's a four times time accelerate. Because I put a lot of stuff in this. Um, just quickly breeze over all that stuff I just said. I got one from above the shores just then, above the highlands then, and now I'm going to walk round to oh, and from somewhere else, maybe grassland. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm going to get one from the desert. Um, and then I think, here, yeah, I'll go home. We can spend about a day in space with this life support. Uh, each pod has about one Kerbal's one day life support, and I put a ton of batteries on there. At some point, we'll need power generation. And that will what will be what will make this series really... I will need Kerbal alarm clocks, is what I'll need, because I'll need to be doing kind of like sending ships out to other places. Say I have like a base on lathe, and I don't have a particularly long transfer window because it's a pretty small solar system, so you don't get very big... Uh, well, relative to our solar system, where you have like a sync up of quite a long time. But anyway, um, the so I'll need to be sending food out because I mean, I'm pr I'm not sure if there's food generation, but at least until I get that, you know, there won't be. Anyway, that's a, was a demonstration of deadly reentry. You saw my ablative heat shield burn off a little bit. The parachutes are jittering around like crazy people right now because uh, because four times time accelerate times four times time accelerate again. That is sixteen times time accelerate. Um. But yeah, so I'm trying to talk about everything that's happening, but there's quite a lot happening because it's going fast. So I'm just taking a few reports, um, get a little bit more science, uh, and I got about 78 science there, and I've left this bit at four times time accelerate. But anyway, I unlocked some mystery goo. <sighs> this is a lot of commentating. So I put four canisters on here just so I can get one from the launch pad, one from flying above Kerbin, one from the grass next to the launch pad, and one from the shores, because I don't want to doing loads of boring stuff. What am I doing right now? Oh yeah, I was just switching the staging around. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so, okay, flying bob. I have action group them, because I never action group them, ever action group anything anymore, and yeah, action groups are good. Um, so, yeah. That's some getting, so yeah, that's, I've got it while flying, and now I'm just going to get it from the uh, bit next to the pad, and then fly over to the shore. We've got Jebediah Kerman at the helm of this epic space grass craft um but uh just gonna really tell this person to go away you should really just log out of facebook <laughs> it's it, uh, it's an important conversation anyway um right no they are going away now don't worry uh, <laughs> i'll just fly over to the shore um and yeah that's about it i've been commentating so fast and now it's like, yeah, flying over to the shore. So I should probably, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm going to be using quite a few mods. Some that make it logical. So, like, if there's some base on another planet that needs a food delivery or something or needs a desperate transfer, I'm not going to, like, miss that, as I often do in career mode. And now it's all going crazy and I haven't really repacked the chute. So there you go. Now I'll, uh, you know, pull a chute. Just surviving. Which is good because you only need to just survive. Because, you know, what, what else would you do? Um, and we're about to land, gonna slow myself down nicely, instead of throttling down, just go into the cockpit, blow up another engine, they're getting kind of angry that I keep breaking the engines, but uh, I'll take a crew report, I will, I assume I did the uh, mystery goo, probably, yeah, I did, obviously, uh, don't get any more for flying above, because I've already taken stuff from flying above the shores, um, what else? Of course, I will take a surface sample and an EVA report. This is logical. I'm doing biology now. I can pick up a, um, I can pick up sand, and that's not just picking up dirt. Anyway, we must, uh, we must recover the vessel. So I'll get enough science to invent the wheel. Not right now, but one day I will invent the wheel after rocket engines and reaction wheels. Oddly enough, well, I assume you know you need very specified wheels for space stuff. Um, but now I need to decide what to get. I could get heavier rocketry, I need. I could get control, that would be quite good. Or stuff like uh, lighting, solar panels, that could be useful, I'm thinking about it. But uh, I don't actually have enough science for any of them, because I only did a few experiments just now. And, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. I didn't realise for a while. But, um, 
yeah, so I'll need, go, need to go back to space. I have sped up this launch again. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I've slightly improved this rocket. I've just, oh, ah, no, right now I'm testing out the abort system that I put on because we don't want Kerbals dying. So just a couple of Savatrons uh, on the side. Um, yeah, and then we parachute down. I'm just going to make sure this works. We obviously, you know, we can't have Kerbals dying all the time because, you know, oh, it's hit the side. Uh, oh, the irony. <laughs> Well, trying to stop Kerbal's dying didn't go great, so, uh... Jebediah Kerman will be back, I'm sure. I mean, he can't be killed. I mean, let's go hire some more astronauts, though, I guess, would be good. Um... Probably want to hire some more astronauts, because they're probably going to start dropping like flies, especially when I start going to space more. <laughs> um... I'm going to try and keep them alive, obviously. So, which names do I like? Oh, we've lost Jebediah Kerman. We should have Bill and Bob, and we'll probably get Jebediah Kerman back. Uh, well, these are really lame-ass names, but I will have Ronnie Kerman. That would be good. And I'll have Filling Kerman, because, you know, who doesn't like filling? Anyway, a new abort system that pushes us slightly to the side is needed, and very much towards the ground. So, let's quickly open the parachute. Ooh. Ooh, just lost a Sabatron. Ooh. You're a lucky man, Bill Kerman. You're a lucky man indeed. Anyway, let's sell off for space. Because we need to do some mystery goo experiments. And maybe some high atmosphere experiments. Or maybe stand on the launch pad for a while. Maybe forget to cut that out of the video. Let's flounder with words for a while. Uh... Yeah, no, anyway, as I was saying a while ago, um, well, this launch is sped up. Um, oh, yeah, okay, now we've just got to throttle off and things. Anyway, as I was saying a while ago, I want to put bases everywhere. I really want to put bases on Juno because I was there recently. You know, I was just on Juno. Um, no, but, I, and it just looks so damn good. And maybe Eve? That's been an aspiration of mine for a while, to put a base on Eve. And, um... Space station as well, obviously I'll need a few space stations. I never did my rescale space station. Um, oof. Oh, talking of which, Will Ferguson, 321 if you're watching. Sorry, I, I never built the space station and you were supposed to name the core. I feel bad about that. So when I build the space station on this, which I will, because it's a much easier task, you can name the core of that. So when you see it, you'll be like, hey, I'll name that. So Will Ferguson, 321, you know, um, just... Shout you out again. Sorry for not doing that station. It's been uh, nagging at me for a while, actually. So, you know, you can name this next station. Anyway, high atmosphere science and some mystery goo science. Um, and uh, let's circularize our orbit. And uh, actually, no, let's not circularize the orbit. The scientist wants to know this wants to know what happens when you come back much faster than well, not much faster, much steeper than the normal. What if you don't get into a full orbit? Because now we're going almost orbital velocity. We're coming down much steeper, and we want to know what happens to the heat shields. Just for tests for coming back from stuff like the moon, coming back from other planets, because that'll be hard. I mean, we not, might not be able to fully aerobrake with deadly reentry, because deadly reentry with Faramir space is very deadly. Um, but anyway, it's burning up right now. Uh, it's looking fine. Sepatrons aren't heating up too much. Um, I imagined coming back from the moon they'd burn off, but not now, which is uh, lucky. Um, yeah, so we'll just drop through the atmosphere. So that was fine. So that's a good test. Um, do want to test every possibility. This the, this episode is drawing to a close. We'll be finished soon. But anyway, this has been mainly just, if you haven't noticed, mainly just testing out um, either just things and getting the first bits of it done. But uh, I'll just unlock those parts, which is control and um, probes and aeroplane wings. I realized the video has ended now, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, this will be getting more interesting soon. I hope this hasn't been too rushed or too slow and boring. I hope I've got it somewhere right. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to this series as much as I am. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.